You've just Dutch ovened yourself in metal. This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapilla across all my social platforms. And today, we're going to be getting into a little dog. Um... Yeah, I'm not continuing with that. Recently, this channel has been on a little bit of a bloodbath, and I thought, you know, I'm not a nurse. I shouldn't be seeing this much blood constantly. So we're taking a break from horror movies for a little bit, and we're going to be watching something a little more fun. What we're going to be watching today is a movie called Scooby Dooby. Do. It's called Scooby Doo, but I thought it would sound better if it was like movie Scooby Dooby, but it's Scooby Doo. I'm a very simple man. I see a dog talk English and it makes my entire year. And I'm not even kidding. If I had a dog come up to me and go, how are you going? <sighs> Boy, I'm going fucking great. <laughs> As animals or pets get a little bit older, they tend to become more distant with their owners, or that's just a cat thing, or even more specifically, uh, that's just my cat's thing. He used to love being in videos, man. And now all Milo does is sleep in the cupboard, eat food, and shit in the box. That motherfucker doesn't pay bills, he doesn't help out with the dishes, he doesn't help out with anything. He just shits in the box and he goes, hey man. My box is getting full. How about you come clean it up so I can, so I can, as soon as you're taking it out, I'll shit it again. Whew. God, that felt good to get out. This is why I think animals talking English would be a fucking great thing. Because then we could communicate and it wouldn't be so one-sided. And we wouldn't be having arguments all the time that I can't finish because I'm the one person that's arguing with a fucking cat. And now I sound like a lunatic. Can one dog just speak English to me for a day? Anyways, now that you've seen me have a mental breakdown, this movie came out in 2002, and um, it's called Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in a long time, and uh, I do remember seeing this movie as a kid, and it being one of my favourite movies ever, and then being absolutely devastated when they didn't do a third movie uh, of the Scooby-Doo trilogy. They couldn't even finish it. That's the one thing that when I'm like 80 years old and I look back on my life and I think, oh, what could have been better? It's gonna be, hey, they really should have had a Scooby-Doo trilogy. <coughs> this is why I need a dog to speak English to, because then my English can get better. All that aside, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how you going? Leave me a comment with what your favorite uh, Scooby-Doo word is. Don't know if he has many words, but I, I'm sure you'll find one. If you enjoyed the channel, enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, bloody... Let's watch Scooby Dooby Doo! <laughs> also, I feel like I need to say this before the movie even begins, but Matthew Lillard in this is a goddamn national treasure, and there has been no better casting than Matthew Lillard as Shaggy... Whatever the hell his last name is. What is Shaggy's last name? I swear to God, if it's do, it's like Shaggy do. Shaggy do what? Sit around and smoke weed all day? Scooby Dooby Doo! Robby Robby Doo! <laughs> that startled me. I forgot that happened. Oh, they don't do it like they used to, boys and girls. <laughs> okay, now I really have a wedgie. Daphne has a wedgie. Ready? This is how you piss people off in like two seconds. Oh my god, it's the girl from Scream 2! <laughs> Boo. What are you doing, man? Like this is no time to... Jerry, look behind you. I'll turn behind you. Like there is a ghost right behind me, isn't there? <laughs> Even the voice is just... Matthew Lillard gets the voice spot on. <laughs> Like I'm trying, I don't really want to know where Scooby-Doo's butt is right now. That is a broken ankle and um, a lot of bruises. <laughs> I'm not going to question how in a specifically kids movie, but how. Still after us, cool. <laughs> I do kick flip over a ghost, dude. 
Great. Now you've ruined all the good guy dolls. I'm so over this damsel in distress nonsense. Don't sniff. Yeah, don't sniff. Not where you are. Let's grab another skateboard and like do it again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's with all the screaming? Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Good looking guy. All right. He looks like you, but with curly hair. This is a victory for any celebrity who wants to make a quality, ecologically friendly action figure. Is that Pamela Anderson? I do a tremendous amount of teamwork, and I always have a plan. Come on. I'm so fucking cool. I'm such a beta cuck. I love watching... Oh, man, Smithers. The guy from Monster House? How could you, Pamela? I am a lover boy of George Clooney in proportions. Uh, I hate to say it, but he looks like a sex offender. If he wasn't in that ghost costume, he would be near a school. His weightless appearance. They stole that tech from Thunderpants. I'll get you for this. Ruby, Ruby, no. Don't know what that meant, but Ruby, Ruby, Ru. Great question, actually. What language does Scooby Doo speak? Is it dog, or is it English? Who's helpless now? Hey, Velma, nobody is that blind. You can take my glasses off. I can still see. I just can't see very far. <laughs> I'm not blind suddenly. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the ascot? <laughs> the, the ascot, man. Seems to me we all play an important part in this group. We're just like a big, delicious banana split. Fred, you're the big banana. Man. Eh. He can be the big banana, he doesn't have one. You're the sweet and sour mustard sauce that goes on top. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Scoob? Why is Scooby thinking like that? You really put it in perspective for me. I quit. What? How are we gonna have a movie? No way! I was gonna quit in like two seconds. Could you imagine if this is how the movie just ended? They do the first mission, they quit, and then the credits roll. <laughs> No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I quit. To my left, to my right. Please don't go. Do I quit? Oh. No, Scoob. Friends don't quit. Well, it looks like it's just you and me for a while, buddy old pal. Right now, Raggy. We'll all just do what we do best, Scoob. The only thing I like better than an eggplant burger, chocolate-covered eggplant burger. Ew! No! I'm looking for a Mr. Rogers huh? and a Mr. Oh. Doo. Quick, Scoobo, grab the food -o, let's scramble. Okay, oh, let's a dubo the thing -o. I've been sent by my employer, Mr. Emil Monteverius. Hang on a second. Are you telling me this entire time Scooby Doo's name was not Scooby Doo, it's Scoobit Doo? I'm about to have another mental breakdown. Spooky Island. Oh, we don't go near any place with spooky, haunted, forbidden, or creepy in the name. Or hydroclonic, but that's for a whole different reason, man. <laughs> They're so good. He looks like Ray William Johnson before his career took off and went downhill. To provide you with free airfare? No thanks. Room and board? Nothing. We don't need you to look for mysteries. I need you to be a host on Equals 3. It's this internet talk show where we talk about funny videos about dogs and cats and shit. That looks like the most uncomfortable jacket to wear ever. You would be so hot in that. With my new book, Fred on Fred, the many faces of me. <laughs> Fred's a fucking tool, man. I've never liked Fred. What do you mean I can't have seven carry-on bags? That is so economized. I'm so glad this fashion doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> what the heck are you doing here? They are swimming goggles, Daphne! They are not glasses! <laughs> How are you gonna save yourself when you get caught? I've transformed my body into a dangerous weapon. I can't believe they got married. Those two got married to each other. Match made in heaven. Or in this case, an airport. Stupid enough to believe that. Who's the ugly old brother? Oh my god, Fred, you tool! Say hello to grandma. That doesn't 
didn't make any sense. Are you telling me everyone in the airport sitting there waiting to board the flight thought that was a grandma and not a fucking dog in clothes? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We lift them up and we go, woohoo! People are watching, Shaq. Okay, fuck you, Fred. <laughs> Spooky air! Oh, man! Yeah! 2000s punk rock! Who is that actress? You are so familiar, who are you? Also, how do you go from like 2000s punk rock to sad piano? Would you mind me taking a seat there next to... To my uh, that grandma, that's my grandma. Hi grandma. <laughs> is it your grandma? Oh, she's beautiful. Very big nose, big teeth too. And very poor English, but very beautiful. Oh. Wow, I'm sorry. Bro, I swear she says she has a dog allergy. It's usually only dogs that do it. <laughs> no! <laughs> How can you not tell that's a dog? You know, it's probably just my grandma's perfume. Okay. Grandma has a very strange voice. I'm Mary Jane. Like, that is my favorite name. Really? Oh, I bet Mary Jane is your favorite name, Shaggy. I bet it is. You and Scooby hitting the doobie? <laughs> oh. Okay, what kind of airline allows cats onto the plane? Bad grandma, don't eat the kitty. Anyone wondering why grandma is suddenly barking like a dog? Welcome to Spooky Island. Spooky Island does look like kind of a vibe though. See you up on top. Oh, oh, fuck, that would hurt. Uh, uh, uh. Mr. Bean? <laughs> This. Mr. Bean got lost on his holiday. He and oh, oh, oh no, I can be pretty spooky when called upon. Rawr, and there are claws and everything. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> oh yes, you wouldn't want to run into me in a dark alley. I can oh, definitely not. Can you notice any difference between those arriving and those departing? They look like sober. <laughs> the fashion, the fashion sense back then. My God. Carol. How's the island? Are you tricking on me? What? Tricking? <laughs> I think Carol just said we're breaking up. And also probably fix your fucking hair out, man. The young people that come off that barge, they're in danger. So basically they come to the island as happy newborn souls and then they leave like they've been on Twitter for a couple of hours? Spookapalooza. Spookapalooza? Yeah, I need to know what language that is. Any weirdos running around? Uh, no. I remember this part as a kid used to scare the shit out of me. It didn't make much sense to me at all. My name is Nuku Tauna. You can just call me Drax before Drax was a thing. You may recognize him from Telemundo. He's a famous masked wrestler. Rey Mysterio? If it weren't for the holographic projectors. And there. And there. What a smart little one. Couldn't you tell? She's wearing glasses. I got a call for a Mr. Do. Melvin Do? Nah, Scooby. Who? Who the fuck is Melvin Do? Is he important? Walk into the dark, shadowy part of the forest where no one can see you. Okay. <laughs> Even the boots, man. Daphne, the boots, bro. <laughs> As a kid, I was dumb as fuck, and I actually didn't know what was hanging there. I was, I was so confused. Turns out it's just a raw chicken. I was about to sacrifice this chicken. That chicken's not alive. Well, here's a clue. Purple is a fall color. It's the middle of me. <laughs> a man with fashion sense. <laughs> Go home before evil befalls your little skinny aerobicized booty. Hey, man, my seven-year-old ass is not taking no Daphne slander. I had a crush on that woman if I even knew what a crush was then. Fuck Daphne. I mean, fuck Mary Kill. Fuck Daphne. Marry Daphne. Kill Daphne with my love. Do not go into that spooky island castle. You want me to go up to that castle? Didn't you just hear what I said? But you're scary. So you told me not to go to the castle, so I would go up to that castle where you set a trap to capture me. Now that's what overthinking looks like. Rambergers, oh, where are you? Okay, this is annoying me. I need to find out what language Scooby-Doo speaks. What language does... Scooby do speak. Is, Sco is Scooby Doo based on drugs? 
<laughs> how does Scooby-Doo talk? I know how he talks. He uses his mouth. He speaks broken English. And to make it sound like a dog's speech, the letter R is added. I've never heard a dog say the letter R, but there you go. <laughs> oh my god, fuck, that skin sh That was so loud! <laughs> Look, noticeably the CGI isn't the best, but it was 2002. <laughs> That's the Energizer Bunny if it took meth. Is that Jessica Simpson? <laughs> yeah, that's Jessica Simpson. Paintings with eyes that watch you and suits armor you think a statue, but there's a guy inside who follows you every time you turn around. <laughs> Shaggy would absolutely hate Harry Potter. Shaggy would be walking up the moving stairs and then see a picture move and jump off to his death. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Oh I would do it without a Scooby Snack, Daphne. If you're involved, I'm not even worried about the Scooby Snack. You're not gonna stay out here alone, are you? No, thank you. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I need someone's warm embrace. Someone that starts with the letter D and ends in Aphne. This place is like uber creepy. <laughs> oh man. If you're Australian, you know exactly why I love this part. There is a Scooby-Doo ride attraction up in uh, Disney. That is not the place. Up in Queensland at Movie World. One of the best rides ever made. And some of you watching this have no idea what I'm talking about. And that hurts. It's literally a ride based on this castle. It's so good. <laughs> oh, you're so goofy, Velma. Daphne. You and I. Typical. What? I was always picked last for the teens. Um, Velma, you... Kind of boring. How dare you? This is all wrong. And Shaggy and Scooby... Do whatever you guys do. Eat and smoke weed. I kind of feel bad for Velma, man. I don't know why she gets hated on so much or like the outsider because she's kind of geeky, kind of nerdy. You kind of need that in the team, man. Look what you're wearing. Pinch me. I mean, ow. It's an expression, Scoob. That may be an expression, Shaggy, but that is a talking dog, okay? Not everything makes the most sense in this world, and that's perfectly fine. Dorky chicks like you turn me on, too. Uh, yeah, okay, yep. It's a compliment. It's a compliment. Fucking nerds that read books all the time and have too much of a brain turn me on as well. Why you here? You should be reading a book. The Green Goblin? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no! <laughs> she wasn't aware that all the attractions turned on at all? Didn't make any sound? <laughs> Obviously the ride in Queensland can't kill you the way this would. <laughs> Otherwise it would be the best ride ever! They're moving toward us! Belma, this is a ride! You got a better plan, Fred? I got a better idea. You know, the blades are swinging towards you like this. Just dodge the blades and go to the other side. It's plastic! What do you care you drink out of the toilet? So do you! Oh, he was offended by that. Scooby-Doo did not like that at all. I'm not helpless. I am helpless. I'm gonna die! Ah! Just jump off the right! <laughs> Just fall off the side! Fred, okay. okay, dude, Fred's anus saved the day. That lever got stuck in his asshole and okay. I think Velma secretly had the hots for Fred. It's definitely implied that Velma has feelings for Fred. I don't feel so good. Reminds me of the time we tried to eat the guy in the hot dog costume. <laughs> Welcome to America. I am using the language English. Uh, Interaction between young people is polite and casual. I'm just as confused as you, Fred. We actually can relate to something. Hey, sorry, bro. I will crush your bones into dust. Let's see how the situation should be handled. Oh my god, it smells of corporate involvement. Hey, sorry, bro. No big whoop, dog. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, I need to hear that again. Sorry, bro. 
No big whoop dog. Yo, did you catch that new vid on the box? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk like this. Word. Oh my god, that is so cringe. Word. Wherever there's a brainwashing cult, there's always a power hungry leader behind it all. The Papa Smurf figure. Papa Smurf was just crawling under the control panel. Ah, that's a bad joke. <laughs> Jump out the side! Just. Oh, you almost lost your leg. I would have given you mine, but you didn't actually end up losing it. Are you challenging me? Oh, I can't do that on command. Oh, that room would smell horrendous. <laughs> the suck up. I'm surprised you guys didn't leave brown marks on the carpet. Ray Mysterio? We think this is a brainwashing facility for an evil cult. Maybe that's why I like the ride so much. I've been brainwashed. It's not much of a brain to wash. I got a plan. What's this? Smith? Gone How did they get in costumes so quick? <laughs> oh, you've just Dutch ovened yourself in metal. I'm gonna get to work translating these inscriptions that Daphne found. I'll go research cults on the net. Do some searching with the flicking of the keys, you know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> that dude's wearing a Led Zeppelin shirt. He 100% doesn't listen to Led Zeppelin. What's your favorite Led Zeppelin song? <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah, my favorite too. I can make some of it out. It looks like instructions. I'm glad Velma has a brain because that just looks like squiggly lines to me. Really focusing on a mystery reminds me of the old days. Aren't you guys like 20? What do you mean the old days? We were quite a crew back then. You look the same. Are the old days to you last week? Fred, oh, he was so handsome. Motherfucker, Fred looks the exact same. Where are you driving? Australia? The Outback? Oh, I forgot about this fucking motherfucker. Puppy power! Ta -da! Oh god, he's peeing on me! Daphne, in all fairness, he is a puppy. He doesn't know how to use a urinal. Rappy, no. I told you, no urinating on deck. Not unless it's me! You can't do this to me! People adore me! Yeah, so that puppy dog died in the desert, yeah? <laughs> How did they do the CGI for Shaggy, man? Um, wrong guy. How did they do the CGI for Scooby? It offered so much more than every other cartoon. It was so ahead of its time. It had a story. They, they, they worked hard to figure it out. And it wasn't gender specific. It wasn't a boy's cartoon or a girl's cartoon or any of those things. It was a talking dog. You know what I mean? No such thing. <laughs> I forgot how long it was since I played the PlayStation 2. Thank you. What a helpful little monster. Oh god, man, that CG is wonky. If that smells enough to make you pass out, I do not want to know what that thing had for breakfast. I'll protect you. No! Mr. Bean! Scooby-Doo really said, no touching me without consent. It's a kid's movie, Alex. Kid's movie. Kid's movie. You saw it when you were a kid, alright? It's a kid's movie. And just like that, Mr. Ink was dead. That's what... That's what should have happened to them! I love this movie, but you can't have the main characters bounce off the top and then the monsters fall through. I'm calling for help. No! no. Actually, great idea. Why has no one thought about calling the police? Not even that, the fuck- oh, Ghostbusters. They were a thing at this time, why did no one call them? Hello sir, we're on Spooky Island. We're on Spooky Island, and it's- It's a little bit spooky. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> ew. Ew. So, Spooky Island is kind of like a degenerate Disneyland. Oh my fucking god. The frosted tips, man. The frosted tips. I wonder if that dude is still rocking frosted tips today. Hey, man. Grow out of that face. Yo, yo, the biatch was like, what? And I was like, later on. <laughs> and the island just turns them into edgy fuck boys. Keeping it real. I would shit myself if a dog did that to me. We got beats like it was the Lizness on Earth. You know what I'm saying, G? Fuck yeah, man. Get the dog. No whippity machi. I'll get the doggy do. <laughs> I hate this trope in movies. Just move away from the fucking broken window, man. Ah! Like, what a drag! Hey, it's the guy from Blue's Clues. Steve. Oh! And yeah, now he's gone. Doggy! Ah! <laughs> Ew, I fucking hated that as a kid. And I hate it more as an adult. Oh, that scene right there tr scared the shit out of me as a kid, man. That's also the reason I can do this. Raggy, Larry Rangers are raining rags. Scooby Doo just like bite her throat or something, man. Raggy, we're all ripped. I'm whipped. Oh yeah. Imagine a dog speaking broken English it tells you that you're whipped by a woman. <laughs> Come on, two shots, two shots, me and you, me and you again. You stay here. I'll be right back. No, Shaggy. I mean, it's too dangerous. <laughs> Hang on, let me change my voice changer back for a second. You can't leave. Uh, I mean, um, stay. Scooby-Doo. Where, Where are you? Hey, you and me are more alike than we think. Fake fictional guy. <laughs> So this is like a Discord mods version of the Batcave, right? Except without the trapped souls and it's just like illegal messages between underage children. Now let me go so I can return to my body. That doesn't even look like Daphne. I mean, that doesn't even look like Velma. <laughs> oh God, the scene's happening. Oh no, the scene's happening. <laughs> You're a freaking protoplasmic head. But I'm still the best looking protoplasmic head here. I mean... <laughs> hey man, being a tool suits you, don't change. I'm coming good looking! Ah! Here it comes. I'll figure a way out myself. Like how? Like how? I'll use my tongue as an oar and swim to the edge. Uh, ew? You could use a little sunlight. Ah, Velma, warning, please! Daphne, you okay? But I'm not Daphne. Red? This scene fucked me up as a kid mentally, man. Hey, I can look at myself naked. <laughs> the fact they married each other. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they married each other. He planned this somehow, didn't he? Hey, good looking. Tell me you guys are you. Red keeps touching me. Oh, it's so weird. My kid brain was so confused mentally by this. <laughs> like, why am I wearing a dress? Hey, Matthew Lillard. Kind of suits you, man. I'm Fred again. <laughs> Can you imagine if one of them swapped with Scooby? Would that be racist? <laughs> Would that be racist against dogs? I know how to handle this guy. What are you doing? That's great handling. Hey, what are you doing? Awesome. See, the only way I can protect myself is by blessing this dead Arnuki beast. What the fuck is that? Darkopolis ritual. That's right. I don't know how, but Velma is kind of hot with her hair curled like that. A Velma at the start of this movie? Mm, not really my type. Velma by the end? Jinkies, I would say. <laughs> Daphne is where my heart lies, though. Oh, they wouldn't have been able to get Scooby because he was in the pound. Hey man, who told you it was a good idea to tattoo your head? Because they, uh, lied. Scoobit, how are you, my friend? I hate that his name is Scoobit. Next, you're going to tell me that Courage the Cowardly Dog's name is Courageous. Anyone remember that, like, animated movie, like, um, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island or something? 
That is a scary Scooby-Doo story, man. That animation in that movie, oof, yuck. Truly traumatizing that movie is. The only thing I'm good for is getting caught. But you never let that stop you before. Teamwork, let's do it. Let's get jinky with it. Yeah! Could have said something else. Would you like another Scooby snack? Okay. Is that like a haram or something? A harem? What are they called? I've never been in one. And that dude has some resistance in his stance. He got bonked like six times and still was standing. You saved the day, Stu Marker. Hey, Fred. Y'all forgot the next part of the dance. It's electric. Wow. Boom. Woo! The Damon Ritus. Damon Ritus? That's pretty Damon Wrongus, if you ask me. Psst. Rag you. Raggy? Shh. Shh. I'm really sorry. I haven't been a very good friend since we got here. We won't last me. I do trust you, Scoob. Who's, who's your best buddy? Raggy. Oh. I don't know, he had to think about that. I'm like two trippy peas in a far out pod, man. <laughs> I am not getting emotional about this. I feel a little bit emotional. <laughs> I must be getting old or something, man. I'm getting emotional over a CGI dog and its best friend. Hey, look at me! Look at me! I'm Reggie! <laughs> Nobody absorbs my pal! Oh. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh. Yeah! Get off my pizza! What? A pardon? Rawabunga! Look, Velt. A man in a mask. We love you, We love you, Yeah. There are some scary elements in this if you are a little kid. Oh my god. I forgot you were the fucking big bad again. Scrappy dappy do have absorbed enough energy to no! Okay, calm down, Crash Bandicoot. My moment of triumph! Scooby Doo! <laughs> I know we're all thinking it, but how big are the dumps that Scrappy Doo takes? Now. <laughs> they have to be as big as a human. Clifford the big red dog who? I keep thinking my computer's lagging, but it's just like the movie with the slow-mo. <laughs> Daphne's having her Black Widow moment. She's channeling her inner Natasha Romanoff until she falls off the side of a cliff. Fritz has got his groove on. So Fred's not just a tool, he knows how to use tools. <laughs> Rey Mysterio! Props to the team for doing like a massive CGI like ugly dog like this. <laughs> Damn, I wouldn't mind being choked by Jessica Simpson. Just, yeah, don't breathe on me like that. I don't need to smell your musty ass voice breath. Shaggy's like, mate, you don't know what else I've smoked. Your breath is nothing. <laughs> okay, but why couldn't Daphne do that on the ride earlier when she got hit by it? Why couldn't she just dodge it with like a triple backflip? Fuck this shit! <laughs> now who's the damsel in distress? Me? <laughs> Me? <laughs> No way all those souls found their right bodies. It took the four people like five goes. You're a bad <laughs> Shaggy hit him with the PTSD. Hey mate, remember when we left you in the desert? Yeah, me too. Zoink. Put him up your mangy mutt. Oh. Oh. Is that all you got? Scooby-Doo really said, nah mate, just wait till the camera cuts off. You're gone. We did it. Yes, we did. Just get married already! After all this, you're telling me Rowan Atkinson is not a real person. Are Daphne and Fred making out in the background? <laughs> oh. Hagrid? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, 
Thank you. That's Geppetto after he got out of the whale. You're fogging up my glasses. I'm surprised you remember what he looks like. I actually forgot you had a boyfriend. Ready? Me down. <laughs> oh my god, I almost cried. <laughs> I, I got my my I felt like I was gonna cry. Thanks. You saved my life. Hey Shaggy, clock her one, just to make sure she's not a monster. Hey, he sniffs his asshole with that nose. Maybe don't kiss it. Hell yeah, Mr. Ink! You saved Disneyland! Fred, can you tell us how you solved the case? It all started when I was giving a speech on my new book and... Well, the book's not going to be called Fred on Fred anymore. It's going to be called Fred on Daphne. <laughs> We've discovered that the real villain behind this mystery... Was the friendships we made along the way. Scrappy Cornelius Do. Nope. Okay, it was the little dog. When well, I got no way with it too! If not for your meddling son of... Do you have any comment on the mudbog ghoul who's been terrorizing London? Go away, Gale Weathers. Writing wrongs, looking for clues, and watching movies together. Yeah! <laughs> what they're gonna do now is they're gonna take Scrappy Doo out into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and then just drop him in there and drown him. And there's nobody I'd rather. Screenplay by James Gunn? <laughs> what? kidding me? James Gunn did the screenplay for this. Oh my god. James Gunn, please make the third Scooby-Doo movie, please. Imagine the Guardians of the Galaxy meet Mystery Inc. Star-Lord vs. Shaggy. <gasps> Scooby-Doo vs. Groot. Daphne vs. Gamora. Drax vs. Fred. Please, please make it happen. Who have I forgot? I forgot one of the characters. Valma vs. Rocket. I have just keyed into untouched potential. They would bounce so well off each other. Them peppers is like hot. Wimp. Wimp. Oh, you think you can handle it? What is this, an episode of Hot Ones? Okay. Oh. The pepper you just ingested has a 9 million Scoville level. No! No! Make that 10 million. That should have smashed. <laughs> Those jars should have just gone. Three. If that's how hot it is coming out of their ears, could you imagine how hot it would be coming out of their ass? All right, so that was Scooby Doo, otherwise known as characters swap bodies and mentally really screw with Alex's childlike brain. Um, and that's the movie, yeah. I'm gonna get straight into my rating. I'm gonna give Scooby-Doo a 4 out of 5. That is just a fun family movie, a great time, and a great little adventure. I absolutely love the second movie, which is called Monsters Unleashed. I love that movie so much. I loved it as a kid. I haven't seen it for just as long as I haven't seen this one, I don't think. So I'm very excited to watch that. But in terms of ratings, I'm actually going to give Scooby-Doo a 4. I've already said that. Fuck me. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Leave a like, a big like, a little like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Patreon for early access and everything. But for now, I've got a plane to catch because I got this letter that says, Dear Guy, please come to our island. We have Daphne. We have Daphne.